How are you? Very good. How are you? I like your background. <laughs> Thank you. I'm great. I interviewed you already four, five times. So I feel like we are already BFFs. <laughs> we're, uh, we're, old, we're old friends. Old friends. So I watched The Craft and I love it. I love oh, the good. original. Oh, uh, but good. when the project was announced, they say it would be a reboot. But it's not a reboot. It's like a sequel, right? It's a sequel. We changed our mind. Yeah. During the process? Uh, no. We, we, we went out to a bunch of different writer-directors and said we want to reboot it. And Zoe came and said, look, here's a different idea, doing it as a sequel instead of a reboot. And I liked her idea better than everybody else's idea. So we went with her and we, we changed our mind. And why did you decide it was time to do a The Craft sequel 24 years after the original? I thought it would be interesting. I think, obviously, it's a female empowerment story. And I thought it would be interesting to look at that story through the lens of what we think about gender in 2020, which is very different than what we thought about it in 1996. Blue House started making original movies, original horror movies, and now you're doing uh, reboots, remakes, uh, sequels like Fantasy Island. Uh, why do you think that Hollywood so into revival of the franchise? We do both. We have a movie called Freaky, which is an original movie. Craft is a reason. So we really do both. But the reason that we use old titles is because it's very diff difficult to market a new title and a new idea and, and break into how much clutter there is in people's brains. So if you use a title that people have already heard of, you can get their attention. So sometimes we use old titles and like we did with Halloween, reinvent them or redo them and and um, and it's 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 just it's really for marketing. It's an easier way to market the the, the projects to people. Right now, we're getting already Halloween that you guys are doing. I'm dying to see the second one and Scream and other uh, old franchise coming back to life. There's any franchise in Hollywood that would like to revive right now? Uh, I'd love to do Friday the Thirteenth. Oh, I'd so love cool, it right? to do that. <laughs> Would you do like a TV show or like a movie? I do it as a movie. Wake up, Jason. Make mommy proud, Jason. Make uh, I love that idea. Cool. Me too. I would go see that, yeah. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> so as a new chapter of the craft, did you have any conversations with Neve Campbell, Rachel True, or Robin Tony about coming back? Or there's a plan for doing a sequel with the new cast and the old cast? No, we didn't. We 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 all, we, we, we we there was only one only one person from the uh, from the old movie that we brought back. Um, I don't know how much of a secret that is, but uh, but um, but uh, that was always the plan. We didn't talk to the other actresses about it. You know, who knows if we make another one? Maybe we'll use them. Who knows? <laughs> and what was the most challenging thing about Revive the Crash? Like the, the first movie, it makes success years after it was released. I watched it on, on, on video. Why do you think uh, was more challenging about bringing the franchise to life? Because they were trying to do a sequel years ago when the first movie was released, but it got canceled. Yeah, the most challenging thing is um, like with any, with any movie that people are they're rabid fans and they, they hold it sacred. You know, the most challenging thing is that a lot of people get ma angry that the fact that you might do a, do a sequel or do a reboot, they, they get mad. So you try and make something that the fans like and, you know, not everyone, people will still, there'll still be some people that are mad. But the hardest thing is the figuring out the right creative that includes enough of the original movie that makes it feel connected to that movie, but also is new enough it makes it feel like it was worth doing it again for a new, there was new, enough new material to make it worthwhile to make again today. I was just feeling worried. I was passing with my friends. We were too far. The last time we chatted, you were trying to do a Blumhouse shared universe with movies like Insidious and Sinister. Is that a still idea, like Halloween mixed with Freaky or mixed with... Uh, one day, you? one day, one day I'm gonna figure it out. It's very hard to do, but one day I'd like to do it. At least a couple of them would be really fun. <laughs> but uh, Freaky uh, is taking place in the same universe then, have that day to you, right? Yeah, it is. It's the same, same, same kind of place and the same kind of tone. Isso é uma cerimônia. 
para celebrar você. A lot of movie was planned to be released in the theaters like The Craft's Legacy, yeah. but in the US you have to sell it to streaming like Netflix, Amazon Prime. How sad for you is like to work in a production that you want the people to see in the theaters, but you have to release in a streaming or for you is like good because people are no. going to see anyway. No it's, no, it's sad. I mean, the perfect place for your movies is to play in the movie theater, you know, so it's always disappointing. You want the movies to play in a movie theater. But I, you know, I made a decision with some of our movies that I'd rather at least they get seen in some way than put it be on the shelf for a year. You know, movies are not like wine. They don't get better with age. Age. So, uh, but it's not ideal. I wish, I wish they could play in theaters all over the world like they used to. Are you worried about the future of the the movie theaters because of uh, everything that's happening? They still closed. I'm not worried about it. I think they're going to change. I'm worried about you know a lot of the. There are a lot of people who are going to be hurt as a result of COVID. That I'm worried about those people. But but the theater going experience. I think it's going to change. I think there'll be more movies playing in theaters. I think they'll play for a shorter period of time. But I don't think people are going to stop going to the movies when there's a vaccine and we life goes back to normal. Okay, it was amazing talk to you again. I would like to, you to send a message to your Brazilian fans. You have a of lot course. of Brazilian fans. And The Craft is being released here in the theaters on November 5th. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, uh, hello, Brazil, and, uh, and thank you very much. Thank you for going to see The Craft. Thank you for listening to me, and thank you for liking uh, Blumhouse movies and TV shows. I see you soon. Thank you very much, Jason. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Tem muita gente estranha por aqui. As estranhas aqui somos nós, senhor.